As I saw you and Monte talking about the rebound discrepancy there. What were you able to do to overcome those numbers? What were we able to do? Man, I didn't know it was minus 20. I knew it was bad. Um, I mean, we're just small. I mean, we are what we are. And that's why I'm proud of these guys for being tough enough um, to figure out ways to win. I think you just got to go by the three-point line helps. We only turned it over five times. That helps. And then we shot almost 60% from the field. Um, that's, that's the only way we got a chance because if we're going to give them extra <laughs> possessions by getting offensive rebounds, we can't lose possessions by turning it over. And that's the only explanation you can probably really look at. I mean, it's just hard to win giving up minus 20 against a team like that. I mean, Baylor is, they're really good. They're really good. And I mean, they got size, you know, they got guys who can make shots. I mean, they, they non-league, they beat Xavier. I mean, you can name the name, Louisville, Xavier, Oregon. I mean, they're, they're really good. And I expect them to make a great run in March. How were you able to keep them off the free throw line? You know what? I don't know what it is. Something here. When I got here, the year before I got here, this team never fouled. It's twofold, though. We don't foul. We don't get the free throw line either much. And so I don't know why that is. Um, I really just not something I talk about. Uh, I don't know if it was something Fred talked about or not. I never asked him. But it's something kind of. Now we talk about walling up and hands off and no bad fouls and we preach that. But for some reason we're able to keep people off the line and for them to only shoot five free throws was, was big. And we did a good job and then we kind of really got it from Baylor. They do a great job. And one time we beat it. You know, at, our, at their place they got a couple breakaways that they fouled. They do a great job. Him and Bryce both do it. And we did that once tonight. Monte did that. And we kind of put that in after we played them. Uh, but we got the ball. I don't know if you remember Naz. He let it go one time to Donovan right before they tried to get it. And that was big. I mean, I guess to, for them to only to shoot five when they've got that size discrepancy, I mean, how, how important was that where you're making them make shots? You know, they made. I think, few, it, I think it was Molly was 12 for 19. That's the problem. He's making a lot of them down there. Um, I mean, he's a pro. I mean, he's a, he's a first rounder whether whenever he leaves. But he's a. You know, it's just you just don't want you don't want bad fouls, um, and I don't think we did that. You know, we had two fouls to give. We were we were trying to talk to our guys in that last 20 seconds. If you are beat to foul, we didn't we didn't, but we were looking to. Um, you know, and then we got to make free throws down the stretch though, so it doesn't become a one possession game. We missed I think four. Steve, this is kind of a follow up to last week, but you you went two and zero again this week and. You were commenting on how everything's just kind of coming together. You're getting contributions from everyone. It seemed like that happened again today. I mean, Bowie gave you good minutes. Donovan did. It, is that, are you seeing that in practice, too? Just If you can give us a little behind the scenes on how this group is just preparing, it'd be awesome. You know, the energy is just different now. I think their they're focus, their belief, you know, at some point you got to win to get the belief and to get the buy-in, and we've done that. And, you know, our energy level in practice is good. Um, we're not going as long. You know, we're, we're in and out of there a lot now. Um, it's, it's pretty much 5 on 0 shooting, a little 5 on 5, because we, you know, Matt was out this week. We haven't had a lot of guys in there the whole time this week. But I think they, they're, they're locked in just so much more to understanding what's at stake right now. I mean, that, that's the biggest difference. Uh, their energy level is good. Um, they're playing together. I mean, I think guys are buying into what they need to do, whether it's Daryl, I thought he was huge off the bench. And to his credit, he makes two free throws. Um, you know, Donovan was great, you know, off the bench tonight for us. Um, I think everybody just understands their role. I think we are playing different offensively. Baylor makes it tougher because they're changing defenses and different things. But, you know, and then you look at Deontay, he has 22 tonight, and he had two at Texas Tech. And I think that's the, that's the makeup of why this team's good. You know, I always say we have to have three of our four seniors play well. And today we, you know, it was, you know, you had Naz 10, Monte 17, Deontay 22. And that gives you a good chance to win. And then, you know, Matt had two, but he'll be ready to go again on, on uh, Tuesday, you know, because him and Naz played well at Tech. And so I think those, those, those older guys are, are playing really well. Jacoby. I think with sick, is there a bug going through the team, or are you concerned? About I don't know. That? Cameron had tonsillitis. Jacoby was sick. Um, I, I don't know. They had two different illnesses. Um, Jacoby's been out of practice the last couple of days, so that was the first time I've, I saw him when he came to the locker room today.